So as we prepare to begin, we do a cleansing, and we do this before we begin anything. And we do this so that we come before the Lord with a clean mind, a clean body, and a clean heart. And so what I do is I take the medicines and I will put them... Every culture has within itself a means to to be healthy and to be whole. And for Native people, it's been a disruption in the continuity of those ways, you know, the traditions and cultural practices. And now we're rediscovering those. To go to a sacred place is to put us in that opportunity for mystical kind of relationship again. Whether that mystical relationship is with the land, with myself, with others, with our God. All of those are transformational opportunities for healing. And when, we, when we're put in that space in a deliberate kind of way and have the opportunity to then reflect on it, it just expands the possibility for healing. There was no manual, there was no book written about this is how you heal. Native people have had to discover it on their own. A lot of the means to find healing has been going back to traditional practices. In other words, um, healing comes in the form of sharing circles and coming together as a community and supporting one another. Aboriginal healing centers such as Poundmaker's Lodge in Alberta pay special attention to the idea of a circle and at the center of it a sense of the sacred felt by the people who make up the circle. So things like sharing circles and uh, community social events and coming together to understand how will we heal as a people, these are all things that Native people have had to come about through remembering. You know, how did our ancestors do this? When we were sick, how did our people heal ourselves? It brings the person needing the healing into that center. And it does it in a physical way, but it also brings that person into their center, the center of who they are. And when they come to that truth again that they are valuable. They have intrinsic goodness in themselves and they have beauty. They have dignity. They have something to offer. It doesn't matter whether it's as individual or as community. The Catholic Church, over several decades, has been at the forefront of helping to facilitate the formation of healing circles at places like Anishinaabe Healing Centre in Espanola, Ontario, the Family Project at the Trappers Lake Retreat Centre in Yellowknife, and the Hollow Water Healing Circle in Manitoba. For those who partake, it is with a realization that the idea of caring community is at the heart of their Catholic faith as well as their Aboriginal traditions. The only way someone is going to come to that realization that they have dignity and value and personhood is to know that someone cares, someone loves. Someone sees beyond the external costume, if you will, and sees the value of the core of that person. And when they hear that long enough and loud enough, that they've been heard in their brokenness, then they can recreate their own truth, find their own truth again and then they can start walking again in that circle. Not just to get them to that place, but to find a new awareness, a new wholeness, a new way of moving forward. That's what the medicine wheel is all about. That's what the healing is all about. Here we talked about it yesterday, and I know you 
if we want to survive, if we want to continue, if we want to reclaim our health and our uh, good life in a, in a contemporary world. Forgiveness is a part of it within the church and within the whole of society. L learning how to forgive is something that Christians find difficult, or anyone finds difficult, and yet it's an important part of being Christian. And it's not just a Christian thing, it exists in Islam and, and Judaism. One of the things I think is an immense gift that the Native people can bring to the church is how they have found forgiveness or the ability to heal, which is related to forgiving. I my hands, I say, I take this smoke and I wash my hands with that smoke so that my hands will be clean and that my hands will always do good work and I will not harm another person. Creator God, I take the smoke with my hands and I bring that smoke over my eyes so that it cleanses my eyes so that I will see the situations with the people and know what I need to do.